Hello everyone and welcome back to another Squishmallow video. In today's video, one of you, my amazing viewers, has recommended or requested that I show you every single Squishmallow that I bought or overall added to my collection in the year of 2023. Now I thought this was a great idea at first until I got all my Squishmallows that I got this year together and I realised very quickly how many I bought. I didn't realise I got that many this year. Now they're all together. It's a lot more than I expected. They are all like piled up right next to me and it's a lot. So without further ado, let's get so, into this. Of course, the first month of the year is January and I didn't actually get that many in January, surprisingly. Um, To be fair, I mean, I didn't get many very often. I'd usually get maybe one or two a month and that kind of started from August of 2022 all the way until like December. So kind of going into January, it was kind of unsurprisingly that I only got one, but the only one that I got was Tatiana. Now she is adorable and I love her a lot. I remember I got her from B&M. Now I'm going to reference B&M a lot. There's three different B&Ms that I go to. So that's why if I say that I get a lot of them from there, it's because I have multiple places to go to. But yeah, I remember I was just going to Hobbycraft nearby to go get stuff for college work. I think I was getting a sketchbook for a new project. And I just happened to pop into B&M and I found Tatiana. And yeah, just, she's so cute. Uh, she did have a tag, but uh, it fell off. I do have it somewhere, but yeah, so no tag. She's got cute little holographic wings, cute little horns. Which they look mismatched, but they're not. They're actually just like multicolored fabric. It's just that one that I picked up that looks like they're two different colors. But yeah, she's very cute. And yeah, I love her a lot. But she's the only one I got for January, I believe. So, but adorable. So, of course, next up is February. Now, in February, I bought about four Squishmallows for the whole month, and I bought them all in one day. So, first of all, we're starting with the Valentine's Day ones that I got. So, this one is Ottie. And I got her and three other ones from B&M, surprisingly. Now, I was originally going to go to Aldi to try and find them. I did get them after Valentine's Day, which is kind of annoying. But she's really cute. I quite like her. She's, like, one that's an actual Valentine's Day one. Look, a cute little heart on the top. And the sprinkles of hearts as well. Look at that. Adorable. But, yeah, so I got her from Home Bargains. Now, she's a 7-inch, and usually 7 inches cost about, or they were, like, £8. Now they've kind of gone up to £9. But I got her for about £6. I think they were all 5 or £6 each from Home Bargains. Now, there was the whole squad there. I didn't get the whole squad. But I did get three out of the whole squad, so I'm going to show you them. But yeah, so this is Otty. Then we have Fifi, which I think I've shown in a previous video. Um, but yeah, so the only thing that's... Like, she's a regular one, but just, like, with two hearts on for the Valentine's Day thing. But still very cute, because when I was collecting, I did collect a couple of the OGs back in the day. I know. Um, Fifi was one that I was tempted to get, but then, because I wasn't cl cl collecting regularly, I didn't end up getting her. So I was glad to get her now, like, a few years later. So that was kind of cute. And one last one is Tear. Um, another, I think, regular one um, with her tag. But I got her because I really like just the pastel spirals on her, which is kind of cute. And then the fact that it only makes a Valentine's Day is, apart from the tag, is these two holographic hearts here. But nothing, like, apart from that, nothing really screams Valentine's Day. So that's one of the main reasons that I also got her as well. So I mentioned I got four that day, and that was only three. So the next one, I so after I went to Home Bargains, I ended up going to a b and that was near there, and I got this one. She has a little bit of makeup on her, unfortunately. I've tried rubbing that off. Um, I've almost had her for a year and I still don't know how to pronounce her name. So that's what it is. She's a bit understuffed, unfortunately. She's, I think, 16 inches. I'm not 100% sure, though. She is 16 inches. Um, so she's much bigger. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I don't have many of this size, but I do. I have, like, four in this size. And I bought another one today, actually, so... But yeah. Mm -hmm. She's quite big, but yeah, she's under stuff, so she's kind of like... She squishes down quite a bit. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, I wanted her really badly. She was on my wish list on the squad app. Or a version of her was on the squad app wish list. Um, yeah, I've got a little holographic antlers and just like, you know, the pastel blue. It's very wintry. It's very cute. It's a deer. I just, I just really love it. It's... It's adorable! So, then after that, of course, comes March. Now, at the beginning of March, for actually basically the whole of March, I didn't buy one until right at the end. I bought two, again, in the same day, because I can never seem to buy one at once. But the first one I did get was Ocean. So here she is. So she's a 12 inch. 12 inch, yep. <laughs> I do have quite a few in this size. This is probably my favourite size, where it's like, not too big, not too small, it's just right. Um, but yeah, so she's an octopus. I really wanted an octopus for a while in my collection. Ocean was so perfect. She's like pink, 
tie dye and then she also had like the blues on there as well which is very my thing I like pinks and blues and purples as well but you know so I thought this was quite cute and she's also winking as well which is different I saw her in Smith's Toys I saw her in another shop and then I ultimately ended up getting her from Asda but the reason it took me so long to get her was because I don't know if you can see that but on the fabric it looks like she's got a dirt mark on her um it's not actual dirt I thought it was dirt because the first time I saw her she was the only one on the shelf and I thought oh it's dirt that's why she's the only one left but then I went to multiple different shops and they all had it in the exact same place and then I realized it must be a printing error so anyway I ended up getting her from Asda and usually these ones go for about 17 pounds I think I got her for 15 there was some money knocked off so it was a bit of a win um yeah she's very cute it's a bag I've ignored my nails oops but yeah so she is quite cute and I'm happy that I've got her in my collection and also that day after I went to Asda and got Ocean I went to the B&M yes another one as I mentioned there's three of them and I got Amelie the cute little strawberry milk look at that um yeah I'd seen her around TikTok and other places and I thought oh it's just a strawberry milk but then I kind of found her and I just thought she was really cute look at that I don't know. It's pink. It's cute. It's, yeah, strawberry milk. Adorable. <laughs> so next up is April, which of course is when Easter is. I didn't own any other like Easter Squishmallows before. as I just didn't know where to find them. So I had a little look on the Squishmallows UK subreddit where it said Easter Squishmallows spotted in Tesco's. Now, as I'd never go into Tesco's, I would have never figured this out by myself. So thank you to Squishmallows UK subreddit. Can be useful at times. And so I headed over to a Tesco's. There was four in the squad. There was a purple pig, a green Highland cow, um, a regular cow, and a chick. And I got two of these, first starting off with the cow. So this is the only cow I actually have in my collection. I should probably change that. And it's very cute. It's a light blue with like daisies on the patch. Like I've seen there's two different versions, one with like bigger prints of daisies and like smaller prints. So this one's a smaller print of daisy. And then here's the Easter tag. Look at that. Very, very cute. And then I also got a chick as well, which also has like little bunny ears. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of a chick, it's kind of both. Um, but yeah, there's the tag, they're so cute. Um, but yeah, these are the two ones that I got for Easter and basically the ones that I got for April. Mm. Oh, they're so cute. I do quite like these ones. So then for May, I also only bought two in May. Um, so the first one is this one. Now this is a little Dumbo octopus. It's very cute. Um, I don't really remember. I don't remember where it came from. I don't think I bought this one. I think I was given this one. It was like a present. Um, but yeah, it is very cute. I love the shiny ears. Adorable. It's a bit different to the other colours. Like most of them are like pinks, purples, blues, very pastel. And this one's just like or or orange and yellow. But here's very cute. I do quite like it. But yeah, I think I was given this one. I think I was given this one as a present. Because I don't remember buying it. But it's very cute and I do like it, so... So next up we have this one which I also got in May. Now I remember buying this one. Um, this is very like early May as well. It's a cute little squirrel, I'm pretty sure. Uh, she, her tag fell off. Again, I have it somewhere. I cannot remember her name right now. So that's going to bother me. Her tail is supposed to be more multicoloured, but you can't really tell on this particular one. Um, she's also got holographic ears as well. I do love like holographic <laughs> ones. Um, but yeah, I remember her very early May as well. And I think this one and the other one uh actually from the same squad which is kind of interesting i don't do that very often um but yeah she's very cute so then june came around and i just didn't buy a single squishmallow in june i i don't know why it just i didn't buy any um i did think if there's any reason i don't think i went to b&m at all and i don't think i went to and home bargains very rarely has them in i guess there's nothing in the entertainer i guess there's nothing in smith's i guess i just didn't go to those shops either but yeah there was just there was nothing i guess i didn't get so any. then july came around and i basically almost didn't buy any in july either i think yeah it got very late july before i actually bought any so the first one i bought was this one now it just so happened to be out at the time oh just in the city with some friends and i saw this one everywhere like everywhere and i'd seen it before i think it might have also been on my liked or like on my wish list on the squad app but yeah, so I don't know, it's like the pastels, and because it's like a squishmallow, that's actually the colour of the actual animal it's based off of, which doesn't happen very often. And I don't know, there's something about it that I thought was just really, really cute. And I thought, okay, I'll well, add that to my collection. So I thought, oh, that's probably the only one I'm going to get for July. No, I did end up getting two more. Now, these are probably arguably my favourite purchases of the year. 
I don't really know. Um, I wanted to get these so badly. They were on my wish list. I was hunting for them everywhere, but I wasn't sure if they were going to come out over here. Like I seen them all over America, and I was really hoping they're going to come out here. And then just by chance, I was in the city at the time, and I was walking past Claire's, and I just saw them out of the corner of my eye because they just happened to be in the window. And I had to stop my friends. I'm like, right, I'm just going to buy these real quick. I'll be a second. I went and I got them. Apparently, they had only just been put on the shelf. It's these. So these are the only clips I own as well. I haven't found clips anywhere else. I haven't seen them sold anywhere else. Apparently they're in Morrison's. I never go to Morrison's. I haven't seen any there. Um, but yeah, these are the only clips I own. So these are part of the Blacklight series uh, that were available in Claire's. They might have been available in other shops in America, but over here, only Claire's. Look at that. There's the tag. The tag's almost as big as it. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, Gwendolyn, the little strawberry bat from the Blacklight collection. And then we also have the other one. Barnet. I think it's the thing. Yep. Sorry, just had to check. Here's the cute little orange one. I've also seen they've come out with a blueberry bat. Um, not over here, of course. But that was part of the Black Light series. But yeah, they're very cute. So with Claire's one, it's way more expensive. I don't know how clip how much clips are usually. So these were eight pounds each. A regular, like seven inch, is about nine pounds. So that's what happens when you shop at Claire's. But these are the only place I could get them. And then they didn't have they didn't have them in a seven inch. Then they had them in a 12 inch, I believe, which would have cost 30 pounds. Um, yeah, they also had the toadstool ones, or like the mushroom ones, and they also had the clown ones. And I know they had the clown ones back in November because my brother debated on getting one. And then he didn't, thank goodness, because I didn't like them. <laughs> but yeah, so these, mm, I'm so glad I got them. And I'm glad I got them when I did because I didn't go to the city for a while. Oh no, it was like two weeks until I went into the city again. And no, it was like a week. It was like a week until I went to the city again and neither of the Claire's had them in because everyone had bought them up. So I'm glad I got them when I did because I am in love with these. Next up is August where I also just did not buy any. I don't know why. I don't remember. I guess I just didn't go to any shops that had them. There was, to be fair, there's a weird point where there's nothing really out if I remember. So I just didn't end up getting any in August either. So there we go. And then September came around and I got three this month. So I guess I made up for it in the end. So the first one I ended up getting in this month was my Winnie the Pooh, which I am in love with. And I'm so, so happy I got, which again, I mentioned in a video where I just did Squishmallow haul. And yeah, it was complete chance. I wasn't meant to go into the city to go shopping. It was just happened since I was at college. My friend who was a different sixth form messaged me saying, hey, do you want to meet up for lunch or, at lunch or something just to go? Look for Hot Wheels because he wanted to look for them. And I thought, yeah, sure. Went into the entertainer. He was looking at Hot Wheels. I got bored. I went over to the Squishmallow section just to have a little look. And it just happened to be there. And I'm so grateful that it was because this is impossible to find. I've never seen it again. And if I did, it's like being resold on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money. But I have, finally, for my collection. Now, I know there's a Christmas one that exists with a little Christmas hat. And I, which, same thing, just wears a Christmas hat. And I know there is another one, which is this, but it's like silver or just completely shiny and sparkly. I haven't seen it sold separately. I know it's in a pack of four in the entertainer. One of my friends said where he lives, he's seen it in his entertainer or in a toy shop by itself. I haven't seen it. Unfortunately, I'm really annoyed about that. If I do find the um, 100 Years of Disney one, I will get that. But unfortunately, I haven't. But I've got this one and I am happy with it. It is adorable. So of course, Winnie the Pooh is not the only one that I bought for September. I also got two... Halloween ones, which, is, yeah, I got them in September and not October. I could not find any other ones in October, but I got them. Yay! So, first of all, we got Geo. Here we go. It's a cream tag. Look at that. Adorable. Now, Geo came out in 2022, I believe, and I didn't know where to get Halloween Squishmallows. I was kind of beginning out, like, properly collecting at this point, so I had no clue where to find them. So, when I found them this year in the works, so happy about that. I know there's two squads available this year for Halloween. One, that was available in Tesco's where I really, really wanted that one blue bat. Couldn't get it. And that, was, that squad was only available in Tesco's. And then there's the other squad, which was available everywhere else, which it seems wrong, but it was worth a look. I love the fabric on him as well. Look at that. Adorable. And then I also got Joldy as well with the fluffy belly. Look at that. Sparkly wings, who I almost didn't get. So thank you to my friend who said, hey, if you want to go get her. Because I'm glad I did. She's adorable. Um, yeah, shiny wings, shiny ears, fuzzy belly. And it's purple. Quite like the purple. But yeah, so that was all I got for 
September. Oh, I also did do a Halloween video on these guys. So if you're interested in that, I recommend you go check that out. But yeah, that's October. Nope, September. So now we get on to October. Now in October, I only bought one Squishmallow, but I also did get three doubles of the Halloween Happy Meal Squishmallows. Now I don't know where they are right now. Well, I mean, I gave two of them away and I have one for myself. I don't know where any of my Halloween or like any of my Happy Meal Squishmallows are. I am currently organizing stuff in my room and I don't know where, remember where I've put them. So I will try and find images of them from the videos I've done there. So that's the one that I got for October. But I also bought one regular one from October. And it's this one. You know, this uh, was in my hunting and haul video. It'll be easy to find because I'm pretty sure this one is in the thumbnail. But it is so cute. It's so adorable. And I am in love with it. It is 12 inches. So it's a bigger one. Um, but it is so, so worth it. Which I'm trying to... One, I'm trying not to buy as many Squishmallows. I'm trying to slow down. Because I'm running out of room. The hammock that I have hanging up on my, ooh, above my bed. Um, which has like all the 7 inches. It's getting a bit full. I'm not going to lie. And then all the 12 inches, 16 inches. They all sit at the bottom of my bed. Unless some of them sit up here, to be fair. So I'm trying to stop buying bigger ones. But this one has been... That, by that point, had been on my squish wish, wish list on the squad app for about a year at this point, and I never thought I was going to get it. I thought, oh, it's never going to happen. And then when I saw it was coming soon on the Smith's Toys website, I kept love when it was going to get released, and it got released, and I got it. Now, this one actually has an interesting story. Um, so its name is Petey. Yeah, there's the tag. So its name's Petey, and it says, and I knew that, but on the website at the time, it was called. They put it as Rosie. And then in stores, it was also rosy. Now this size is supposed to be $17.99. No, $16.99. Something like that. And so that's about the usual price that it goes for. Like, you know, this size. But for some reason, it was showing as $14.99. So I got it basically for £15. And I, it's not had money knocked off. It, that was just the price that I had. Anyway, it's now been corrected both on the website and in store. But it's also gone up to its usual price as well. So I don't know what happened there. But I got it as it came out. So I got it at the 15, uh, 15 pounds instead of the usual price so i think that's the win but look at it look at it i love it and it's got the holographic wings again i love i just mm, it is so cute yeah this is definitely a win so this is the yeah probably only one that i got for october so next up is november which in this time a lot of my squishmallows that i got this month were from the happy meals because i think i only yeah i only got one for november um, but yeah, so I'll put the pictures of Squishmallows from the Happy Meals because, I gen again, I just don't remember where I put them. Um, but yes, then I'm going to show you the one that I did. The one and only one that I got for November. Yep, this one. If you go see my Christmas video, you're going to know exactly what this is. It is one of the capsule ones, and it's just my cute little snowman. He's the only Christmas one that I got this year, but look at him. He's quite cute. He has grown on me, to be fair. There's a cute little Christmas tag. I do really like the Christmas tag, it's quite cute. But yeah, he's the only one I got for November, I guess. And considering I practically went into the entertainer twice a week, yep, he's the only one I got. He's cute, though. I do quite like him. Which brings us to now, December, which I wasn't planning to get any in December, and then I've ended up with two, so... I'm not complaining. So the first one that I got, which I wasn't expecting at all, that I got for Christmas, is this Hello Kitty. Now, it's doesn't have a tag um i believe it's second hand so it doesn't have a tag with it so i don't know the sizing and i don't know everything properly but look at this look at it i'm assuming it's a 12 inch comparing it to other ones but it seems a bit too big to be a 12 inch but it seems too small to be a 16 inch so maybe it's a 14 inch i think i put it in the squad up as a 14 inch i don't know but it is so cute again like because i got it for christmas i've had it for about a week or almost a week but yeah look at it I'm a Hello Kitty girly. Always have been since I was like three. So this is such a cool find. Ah. But yeah, so I got this one for Christmas. So it's a present, but it's adorable. Look at it. It's pink. It's pink. I've never seen the Hello Kitty ones in the UK, to be fair. Or when I go around looking for things, I don't think I've ever seen them. So. Oh, it's so cute. I do love it. And now that brings us to the last Squishmallow of 2023 or well, i'm going to assume it's the last squishmallow of 2023 because considering it's i'm filming this on the 29th of december so that gives me like two days left until the new year 
and I don't plan to go out in those two days and I'm gonna buy any Squishmallows within those two days so this is going to be the last Squishmallow of 2023 as being added to my collection which is actually quite funny because I bought it today um <laughs> wasn't planning to go out and buy one today actually that's a lie I was gonna plan to get some other ones but they didn't have the ones I wanted but I got this one instead so this is another 16 inch which I need to stop buying because they are too big I do not have the room but I couldn't help myself. So these ones usually go for about £25, but I went into Smith's today and it was very, the shelves were very empty. I believe, like there was, I think there's money off everything in that entire shop, pretty much. Um, but yeah, a lot of the Squishmallow section was very, very empty. And I, I picked him up and I, and I thought he was cute. And I was like, oh, I've seen him. Have you seen him a couple of times? I've seen him on the website a couple of times. And I was like, he's quite cute, you know. Mm. So usually £25, I had £5 knocked off. It was £20 instead. I have Christmas money. And it's holographic. Look at that. Holographic wings. Holographic ears. Holographic horns. Little spikes on the back as well. The holographic. It's also... Um, so his name's Miles. I'll just show you that. There you go. There's his tag. Um, yeah. When I logged him into the squad app, there's the regular Miles, then there's the Aqua Miles, and then there's the Aqua Miles with the Cordori belly. So look at that. It's like... I don't have a Squishmallow like this, but it's like all... Liney. I mean, it's corduroy, but you know. I don't know. So, I got him only, like, as a filming, I only got him a couple of hours ago. But I love. Look! Look at his tail! He is adorable. Oh, I'm so happy I've got him. He's so cute. I do. I really like the dragon ones, but I just never get any dragon ones. So, yeah. This is the last Squishmallow 2023. It was so weird, the first Squishmallow 2023 was a dragon, and the last one was a dragon. Starting on a dragon, ending with a dragon. But look at him. He's so cute. And the colour and everything. I just... I don't know. I just love him. Great. But yeah, so that was me showing you every single Squishmallow that I either bought or got added to my collection this year. Uh, I don't know how many total there is because I didn't end up counting, so I'll put that somewhere on the screen of the total that I got this year. I'm also not going to be calculating how much money I've spent on this because then I probably feel a little bit sad, but it was worth it. Um, this isn't actually the whole collection. I think there's like three, four that didn't quite fit because at any moment this could all fall over. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and sticking around. Thank you all so much for the subscribers this year. I know this video is probably going to go up early 2024 because just how I am. <laughs> um, and also other videos I need to upload beforehand. But yeah, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, this year, especially in the last couple months, I've been trying to grow my channel and Squishmallows seem to be the thing that's mostly grown my channel, even last year. Um, but yeah, a lot of it this year as well with either starting to do more full-length Squishmallow content and a lot of you have also from my uh, shorts as well, showing you like monthly Squishmallow things. So if you are from one of them, thank you so much for supporting me on this channel. I know I started uploading other things other than Squishmallow content, but I promise you this is going to stick around. Um, but yeah, so I had a lot of fun this year and I'm really hoping to collect more uh, in 2024. Um, you know, I've got, I've got Valentine's Day Squishmallows to find. I've got the capsules that have, have been announced for the entertainer. You know, I've got to get some of them. Um, and also maybe some other ones as well and of course more Easter ones, more Halloween ones, of course more Christmas ones, you know. And just like, you know, any other ones that get released this year that I just really, really like. I think I'm going to be more picky with the ones I get because I think I definitely bought too many this year. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to make any promises, but yeah, it's been fun. And yeah, if you're interested in more of these videos, I do have a whole playlist of my Squishmallow content. So if you're only here for that, you know, it's still going to be here and there's a whole playlist so if you haven't seen those already i recommend you go check them out it includes both the shorts and full length videos and yeah and if you want to see more please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video maybe consider liking thank you so much for supporting me and yeah i guess i'll see you in future videos bye mm. Mm -hmm.